Hello together. Welcome again to the Wow How Show. Today we are talking about air condition service machines. I have together with me Daniel Kronmüller, Export Area Manager at Wow. My name is Uwe Blatz. I'm Product Trainer at Wow. So let's talk about these machines. Daniel, uh, you want to say a few words? Um, hello, good morning also from my side and uh, welcome to the show on this uh, Lovely cold Friday morning. Yeah, Daniel. My first question is, what reason could a customer have to purchase one of our wonderful machines here? Uh, well, Uwe, um, I would say to that that um, um, we are producing our own um, AC uh, service units since 2017 in our plant in Italy. We have, uh, therefore, total control of the quality assurance process uh, from our own manufactured components as well as purchased components from manufacturers like Rika, Parker, Contitech. And um, we also are able, because of our own development, to tailor um, these machines to specific customer needs as well as um, needs of any uh, special markets. That's true. And therefore, to suit the needs of our customers, we have several types of units to offer. Let's start with the, with the smallest one. We have here the 10 series. It's coming with an internal reserve of 11 kilograms. Um, with a light weight for mobile use. Then we have the next figure, the 50 series, which is coming with a 20 kilogram tank and with a lot of more functions in it, which make life easier for the, for the, coolant, uh, for the refrigerant technician. And we have it for the conventional gas, for the 134A and for the new gas, the 1234YF. And of course, for, the, for those customers, who are operating on bigger systems like buses, commercial vehicles. We have designed this machine, the A30, which is coming with an internal reserve of 35 kilograms and a lot of additional functions we will talk about a little later. Yeah, let's start with it here. The smallest is also, like in, in, others, in all the series you see, we have the, the same kind of control so if you own one of our machines, you are able to operate all of them in the same way. So what's so special with our machines? So this mobile device here, let's say, it's um, weighing less than 100 kilograms. It can be packed into onto a van and also operated by that as the power consumption is very low. An AC-DC converter uh, with 1,000 watts is sufficient to operate that machine. So, to transport it, we have a very special feature here. This is the transport lock for scale protection. It's very easy to use. This is the operating, the, the operating position, and this is the transport position. So now any shock to the scale cannot damage anything inside. And uh, as you see, we are having the lock on top, which means we have a so-called hanging bottle design. The hanging bottle is giving an even more benefits to our uh, AC service units because it's all very sensitive in the, yeah, the precision of weighing results. And if we have a little slope on the floor like this one here, then the weighing result normally is endangered. But by this design, we maintain precision uh, readings even though when there is a little slope in, in the floor, and this is a, a, a very good precondition for um, operating the machine outside of a, of a workshop. Maybe you can show our viewers how we can actually even see the effect of the scale um, on the oil bottles which are hanging on the same scale. Very good point, Daniel. This is another benefit of us. We have one center scale which is stronger in design than these small devices uh, on the market. Partly in deployment, we have a 60 kilogram uh, capacity of scale, 
and this is operating all of the process steps which gives more operation security for the user so it's a very rigid design as you can see yeah we have already on the side we have the fresh oil bottle we have a uv tracer die and we have the waste oil bottle at the side so everything's in in place yeah mobile use small demand very nice the next bigger one is the a50 uh, no these this is the a50 this is the y50f so why should a customer purchase this device we have much more to offer here uh, let's work around the machine so just one comparison item is the availability of fresh oil we have two fresh oil bottles instead of one uh, in in order to be able to service electric driven compressors electric drive vehicles hybrid drive vehicles because they usually have a different kind of oil the poe and not the PAG we are used from the from the common vehicles yeah it well they have the difference of the oil bottles here also uh, makes your service a little bit uh, uh, faster because you don't have to to change the, um, the oil bottles and uh, exactly and you avoid the uh, having it now um, um, an internal flushing process after each service this is a very good point yeah this is a very good, good hint in order to make it real convenient we have added an internal flushing process uh, which is uh, being conducted after every service step so this means if you drive in the next vehicle you can be sure the service area including the hoses including the manifold are completely cleaned and free of any residues so you can start from the scratch, select the oil in the database, and the uh, referring oil bottle will be affected. Or, yeah, and by that, it's again uh, a matter of, of operational security. You can't do it, you can't do any mistake in this. Uwe, um, can you explain um, us how that cool your select button works and um, the innovation that it, that is behind? Yeah. It's also a very nice hint because what was the 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 purpose of um, all this design um, the if you look at the market uh, many manufacturers go for very fancy displays touch displays all very colorful but we have the situation we don't um, <clears throat> we we wear the customer's shoes or let's say we wear the customer's gloves and this is the situation you have to wear protection gloves in order to work in ac systems and what to do with this with this uh, gloves if you want to operate the machine yeah we have for the menu here the the design is made that it uh, that makes life easier for the mechanic so the thought was not to overload not to over engineer this this kind of control it's a very simple menu all in one you find the functions necessary to operate this machine so after the starting phase which tells you about the software version you have a very small selection of functions uh, in order not to lose overview and uh, yeah this is the main benefit so i can not only touch i can also can operate the machine even wearing these gloves in some other machines if you're working with touch display you need to remove these gloves yeah that is so much to say you see this is the uh, standby mode i can inform myself about the quantity i have inside the machine I have one level of menu. So this is my vessel charge for internal vessel charge from a bottle. The special um, feature is that I can pre-select the amount of refrigerant to put into the machine. So the open program is a single step uh, operation mode. I normally need for any kind of AC repair situations. If I want to disassemble the AC, I can recover in vacuum. 
if I want to complete the car again after repair, I just vacuum and, and charge. And of course, uh, a lot more. We have a not not to forget the um, nitrogen pressure loss test. So then we have for standard situation the full service for the standard air conditioned service on a on a or uh, on a still operative car. And as the the, the, the high level entry we have the database which gives us uh, the possibility to just select the car model and uh, and make and then start with the information uh, I don't have in hand so but if I have a non-standard car a retrofit an ag an agricultural machine which, which is not on the list then I can select this function and I can add my own vehicle here. I can add a new model at any time and I can edit and also uh, modify or remove this vehicle again. So what's the purpose behind this? In this database you will find any vehicle which has left the assembly line fitted with an AC system on board. So in a regular way and including trucks, including agricultural machines, you will find anything uh, which has left the, the factory with an AC system on board. So, and this is the thought to really give the, the customer best yeah, operable, uh, operation conditions. Regarding that database, I mean, um, I see here that we have a, a USB port on all our machines. Um, for one thing, can we update the database and for what else is that USB port used for? This is also true. You're absolutely right. Thanks for remembering. We have a, um, a web page named coolusac.com and on this web page you will find in the, in the customer area any kind of information regarding that machine, starting with operation manuals in different languages, you will find software updates you can compare because when turning on the machine you get displayed the software version and if the version on on the web page is higher then you can download this file onto a, a standard usb drive you turn on the machine and then the machine is downloading the software automatically and also including the database so then the database is of course crucial because you don't know what will come onto your yard and you want to service a vehicle not yet known, then it makes sense to find this vehicle in the database. Yeah, but this is not only a um, single way, we also have something to get from this USB drive because we have a complete service record. So, and this service record includes any service job performed within this year, and we get a list, a complete list. Uh, which is coming in CSV format, so it can be viewed in Excel and it can be downloaded at any time. So, for instance, if the customer is losing the print and you just download this file and you see date, time and kind of job performed and you can prove what you did. So, this is of course uh, very good. Also, defend from unfounded claims from customers and um, without embarrassing anybody you just present this list and say okay everything's all right because not very rare customers come back to the workshop and say oh my ac has been under service here two weeks ago and now it's not working and of course within two weeks anything can happen this means some damage could occur which makes the ac system in inoperable and so I can defend my position here in, in order to avoid extra costs for compensation, which is, as said, unfounded. Yeah. It, it's for all, as well as for, uh, of course, updating uh, the software from the system uh, with a normal USB flash drive where you um, put on the, the, the file that you download from the website you've seen and you just connect it, you turn on the machine, it will check the software and then update uh, itself. Yeah, and as we are standing with this machine, this machine is wearing my favorite 
my, my, my absolute favorite uh, feature here, because what we have here is we have a bottle connected to this machine. This is a nitrogen bottle because we have here the integrated nitrogen pressure loss test. And this pressure loss test is uh, something special. So the bottle is nothing special. There's a lot of um, uh, variety on the market where customers tend to attach a bottle to a machine. But what we did here is we integrated this service, this test into our software. So uh, this means we start the test with the cool you select, we document the test with the print, and so we give the customer this safety on hand that everything's all right with his with his car. You see the initial pressure, the end pressure, the time tested, and the result pass or fail. So in the same, you also find in the record which can be downloaded. Um, so as uh, this is mandatory in the meantime because we have had regulation 2640 um, which makes it mandatory to perform a pressure loss test in any case of empty AC systems or in any case of extraordinary loss of refrigerant within a short period of time and there you can verify whether something is wrong with the machine or other conditions uh, went to the loss which are not explainable by technical conditions. So this is my very favorite because we know this test with nitrogen since many years time, but in the past we were used to work with the, with the double gauge uh, and this cost approximately 40 to 50 minutes of working time. And the labor time here, as we have this included in the machine, we are using the same couplers, we are using the same infrastructure it's embedded in the automatic procedure. And by that, we have a safe, a time saving effect of at least 30 to 50 minutes, depending on the vehicle. Because this works, yeah, you start it from the machine. We have selected three minutes of waiting time for verification. And we have a very high res resolution sensor, which makes it possible. In the conventional way, we had to wait full 20 minutes to get a result and here we only have to wait two to three minutes because we have a very vigilant system in the background monitoring the pressure and giving alarm when pressure is getting lost yeah and this is my personal favorite here i like most what's your favorite i would say the analyzer what oh. can you tell me about that it's a very nice topic as well you're, you're right the analyzer is also very nice because um, it's not the analyzer as such, which is so special. We have integrated here a three-stage um, safety system with two liquid receivers in order to prevent any liquid entering the analyzer and damaging it. So, and the first stage here is inside. I don't know whether it is visible or not. And the first stage of this liquid receiver is a permanently self-servicing and self-emptying system uh, which is connected to the oil drain system and with every service cycle we drain this liquid receiver um, before, they, before it can do any damage to the analyzer and this is the second liquid receiver this is just a function for the user if the user is finding any liquids inside here it's time to take action why is it so important? The, uh, the analyzer is quite expensive as a spare. Uh, we are talking about a four character sum of money. And um, as a last step, before everything breaks, we have this free filter here, which is in white. And if here the color is changing to green or yellow, then this is really the last warning sign to take some action for service in order to prevent damage to the analyzer. And this was the hardware, and the software is marvelous. Look at this here. We have a full um, array of percentage here. So we can analyze both kinds of gases, and we don't uh, get only the notification, okay, it is above 95% purity or less 95% uh, purity, and then not okay. 
we receive here information about the percentage of the YF gas, the classical R134A, then hydrocarbons in common, as we have the R290 propane gas and the R600A, the butane gas, and we have unknown components and mixtures, which may be of, 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 of any nature, and of course, air. And as you see, the amount of air is not summing up to the 100%, which makes absolute sense because air won't ever mix with refrigerant. Yeah, and this is also a very nice feature because here you can do an entry test in, in an ideal case together with a customer. And if there is a problem with purity or a contaminated refrigerant, then of course this is an extra service. In that case, we are talking about a repair and not anymore about a simple service. And this also helps uh, the customer to uh, to prevent unwanted costs and to, to earn more money and it's a plain documentation so did I forget anything Daniel no I think you covered everything on it um, what about the a30 oh yes big mama let's go to big mama this this machine I love as well <laughs> Yeah, we have a lot of features built in here. To be showed. Uh, yeah, I think it's it's the content which makes the difference here. And if we if we watch here, this big item here is a liquid filling pump. So what's this liquid filling pump uh, uh, very beneficial for? We have in big systems with um, standard filling rates of 10 kilograms plus X, we have different conditions. We have different pressure conditions, we have counter pressure situations, which would take us hours and hours on filling a simple AC system on a bus, for instance. And this liquid pump is shortening the time to an adequate amount, which is comparable to the standard units we have here for passenger cars and smaller devices. So, which means you can fill this bus with a 10 or 15 kilogram filling rate within the same time, let's say two or three minutes, you fill a standard passenger car. And of course, every component inside this device here is more rigid, more durable, and has more capacity. Just starting with the compressor here, the compressor can handle one kilogram per minute liquid refrigerant in the liquid phase. Um, compared to this, the 50 series can take 500 grams, and the 10 series can, can handle 300 grams liquid. The vacuum pump is also much more, uh, much stronger than in the other kind, uh, in the other machines. We have a 170 liter per minute two stage vacuum pump compared to 128 here in the 50 series compared to 100 liter per minute in the, in the smaller series. Okay, in any case, the vacuum pump is designed to create the minimum possible vacuum within 30 seconds approximately. So this is what it's designed for. And of course, if we have bigger systems or if we have a leak in the system, this time won't be sufficient, but this is the design. It's really made for the bigger kind of, of uh, AC system. You also see the, the big bottle inside here. Yeah. Then, of course, as we have a liquid pump, we, we can skip the, the heating belt. It's not needed anymore because we are not, depend, not dependent on the, on the tank pressure anymore when filling a system. Yeah, anything to add so far? Um, it looks like we have um, a question from the chat. Very good. How often do I have to update the system? This regarding the software, the software yes. this is uh, depending we have a lot of improvements sometimes legislation changes and we have to add some functions i would just recommend that you regularly look on the coolestac.com webpage and inform yourself whether the system is still up to date or not if not the job is really easy download the the file from the web onto a standard usb drive and update the machine. It works on all the series you see here. 
and um, it's the time consumption is approximately six to seven minutes for an update so it's also really adequate yeah i hope this is the the question which uh, we, we we covered this question with this i th would think so yes yeah regarding, regarding maintenance we did not talk about maintenance so far yes uh, we have a very strong very big filter inside here which is hardly double the amount of competition and therefore we can we can afford to use the vacuum pump running time as a trigger for the maturity of service in that case we have 3000 minutes of vacuum time running time for the 50 and the 10 series and here with the a30 we have 3600 uh, minutes of vacuum uh, time until this unit will remind you that the, the service is due and the machine won't stop in like in other cases the machine will continue operating yeah and this also is very helpful because if the customer has an appointment it's very difficult to send him away and um, go for a second appointment because in some cases the customer won't show up anymore yeah this is another feature which is beneficial for us of course on all the machines you can also change the hose pipes if uh, required um, there are uh, like on Good the point. a10 a standard three meters um, five meters here five meters here but for example uh, if we talk about the a10 you can extend it uh, change it to a six or even uh, to nine meters um, which uh, for um, a model that is um, especially uh, good for service vehicles, um, very universal in the market because uh, you can operate it straight from your service vehicle without the need of ever getting it down. You can hook it up to your car battery and um, with the long uh, pipes, uh, hose pipes, you can uh, even uh, service uh, big harvesters in the agricultural business which have the connectors very high up and um, yeah that's definitely a feature yeah on, on that machine in particular not to forget to mention we are still working with analog gauges um, because we um, we found it more beneficial that the analog gauge is really giving me the pressure information in real time and also give pressure shakings pressure vibrations and such phenomena I need for diagnosis of an AC system because the electronic devices which are on the market are all um, little restricted by the, the sampling rate. Every electronic device has a sampling rate and this sampling rate may be not so beneficial and may be filtering away some information I need for my investigation and diagnosis of the AC system. And this is not happening here. This is a classic one, a very high quality, a class one uh, gauge we are deploying in all of our service units here. And yeah, it's simply working. This is it. One question, why do we have on the Y series that emergency? So ah, this emergency uh, on the is, is mandatory because we are having flammable refrigerant and this emergency stop button is cutting off the connection to the internal tank and if you are charging any ac device any ac machine or any any car and you you find something is leaky you can interrupt the flow of refrigerant and turn off the machine so that no damage occurs to machine or user because yeah this has to be uh, this is simply the, the proven procedure for yeah flammable materials that's i think not not much to add no i don't think so um, uh, by the way if if you have any questions we have um all microphones muted and we have but we have a chat function and this chat function remains open for all your uh, upcoming questions and we will answer on this and yeah we we'll happily invite you to ask any question you like there is no foolish questions just foolish answers which is our part at uh, that time yeah and we should mention that we have two more shows today yeah at um, half past five 
uh, German time and uh, at uh, seven o'clock in the evening where we go into um, a little bit other details of the machines at uh, half past five and uh, at the accessories um, at uh, seven o'clock. That's true. If there's not any more questions on the on the chat, we can handle live. Then we expecting your comments and questions afterwards. So from my from my part, I want to thank you very much for your time devoted to to follow this session here, and I um, heartily invite you to follow the other two sessions as well. Yeah, thank you very much for joining us today, this morning, and hope to see you later.